Okay, problem four. Um, random numbers, mean, and standard deviation. This should be pretty easy. Um, so why don't you read the problem, go through. So it says use x random. Okay, so it kind of tells you how to set up it first. Why don't we do that? Uh, let's call this capital X. Rand, random numbers from of 1 to 1,000 here. Um, I'm going to type title this mean x and we're going to find the mean. If you want to find the mean of something, you literally type mean. But remember, this is the variable, because so we're saying like x equals mean, and it says find the mean of that those numbers. Um, and then we can say, okay, mean of x is, and I'll display uh, mean of x. Mean of x. Oops, got the percent off here. And then, boom. Now, we'll do the standard deviation. So I'm going to call it standard div of x. And for finding a standard deviation in MATLAB, it's already uh, pre-written here. You just put std of x. And we could put f print f standard deviation of x is percent f comma stand div x boom and then I'll display that value um, but now we, we need to use a figure because um, it wants to show us a histogram or it wants to use a histogram so we're going to do figure one uh, let's do figure four since problem four just goes um, and we can do histogram of x and it'll actually uh, do a histogram of x, which is pretty cool by itself by just typing histogram. Um, probably could, I think hist is a shortcut one too. Um, we can title the histogram, calling it histogo, histogram of x, of the data, x. And uh, then we could do another one for y values, because we have to ask for down here, it says use one for x and use one for y and just compare that rand with the n and rand with the out the n. So let's do that. So y is rand 1 to 1000. So now it's doing pretty much the same thing um, but with y different values. So let's just copy and paste that and change these to y. Why don't we? Da, da. Da, da. Da, da, da. And we'll call this figure five. And boom, let's uh, run it. Whoosh. There's our histogram of data y. Whoa, where we are. And here's our histogram of data x. And I think I forgot to suppress something back here. <laughs> yep, obviously. Um, but we got all the data here um, that could be displayed here. So that's kind of the process of going through. Um, put, make sure you put your new lines in your displays here um, so that they work, uh, so that everything flows well and is written nicely. I'm going to go through and kind of put some touching up on the code here, uh, but I'm pretty tired. And uh, I'll. Uh, Put this video on YouTube and I uh, hope it kind of helped you guys just kind of doing some random numbers, mean, standard deviations, some logic arrays. This was my favorite problem. Uh, it's kind of cool We're checking that lab. So if you have a huge data set, you can just um, use loops or use indexing or logic arrays to uh, find extract the information that you want to know. It's pretty cool instead of going through by hand.